I'm going to do a real quick video uh, on my bike carrier that was displayed in the video I did yesterday with uh, when I went bike riding with uh, my wife Emily. Um, this is a Swagman XTC2. I've had it for about four or five years. It's been pretty good. Um, I'll go over some of the quick features of it um, and we'll talk about pros and cons. So this is what the bike rag looks like when it's all folded up on the car. Uh, it's pretty compact. If you go around to the side, um, you know, you get a little bit of clearance between the, the car and the bike rack. Um, and now, uh, to put it down, we'll come up here and zoom in a little bit. You pull out this side pin and this side pin. Of course, it wants to stick right now. There we go. And then you fold down this arm and then this arm. You'll put the pins back in so they don't do nothing and now you've got the basic bike rack on the car each of these trays is movable four and a half so you can adjust it for different bike lengths this strap goes around the wheels of the bike they snap in usually what I'll do is I'll, uh, to prevent a lot of hanging strap I'll strap it in and I'll flip this back up so it's not hanging like that that just would annoy me <laughs> um, and then these pieces right here you can you go front and rear they these will clamp down onto the top tube of the bike I'll show that a little bit better right so you put the bike on the rack you'd slide this puppy down and give it a good push on the top tube there is a little spot here to put a little lock in which I have um, I don't know how much that would prevent someone uh, it's because they're really tiny locks um, and then it's really stable on the car this thing doesn't move if you need to get to the back of the car for some reason you would pull the center pin out and then this whole top arm folds down like so and then the back of your car will open up so put this back up you're gonna line the holes up here that's good so overall this has been a good bike rack for uh, several years um, it's really good if you have a heavy-duty aluminum frame or steel frame bike because you can clamp it down you push down that top and the bikes don't move they're solid in there however my biggest downside is if you have a, a light carbon bike or aluminum frame bike um, particularly I don't like the idea of having to push this down on the top tube one a lot of them have sloping top tubes two uh, especially carbon they're not made to take stresses down like that um, you know, they're meant to be more rigid uh, torsionally, not this way. Um, so that's a downside. Even with a, a thin frame aluminum bike, I, I, you know, my thought is you're risk denting the top tube. Um, not really my preferred method if you have that type of bike. Um, also, when you have this thing loaded up with bikes, we'll back away a little bit, you can't get in the back of your car. You got to pull the bikes off. You got to pull down that center thing. Then you can open the back up and back it up. So you know if you're on a road trip and you need to get something in the back, you're unloading the rack. So those are the two downsides of it. Other than that, it's a great rack. You know maybe if you had this would be great on a car that had like a, a standard trunk because um, the trunk would be able to open up and down. You could leave the bikes on there. Um, on the back of the SUV, it's not bad. I mean I, I've driven down you know several thousand miles. The bikes have not moved. Uh, this has been through rainstorms everything um, it's held up very well the bikes don't move the bikes don't shift y even in when you look in the car it they're tight uh, but those two downsides are kind of leading me to have to go out and get something newer now um, i'm looking at a platform rack that doesn't contact the top tube that cinches it in by the wheels um, swagman actually makes something uh, called the uh, sitka 2 which I i'm looking at but anyways for uh, a basic bike rack, the Swagman XTC2 works pretty well. Um, oh, the other thing is, is that the reason it, is, it just works so well on the car is that right here, you can see this, it, 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 the hitch will work on a one and a quarter and two inch. Obviously it's set up for two inch right now, but this bolt threads into the hitch. So this is tight. And then I bought the optional lock so you, someone can't back out the bolt and take the whole rack off. There is also a um, K2 
cable that can bolt on to, onto this side, I believe, that I have, that you can loop through the bikes. So even if you don't trust the little locks that I showed you up here, you could loop it through so someone can't take the bikes off of the rack. Um, it would be it would be difficult. They need some cable cutters and some bolt cutters and whatnot. But, um, you know, preventive measures, I, I don't know if I leave the bikes on at a hotel overnight. I'd probably yank them off and bring them in the hotel room with me, but uh, who knows. So with that said, this is the uh, quick look at the Swagman XTC2. Good basic bike rack if, if you're traveling on a car. Uh, I'm probably going to replace it for my SUV because uh, it's, you know, the con of having to take the bikes off to open the, open the back is, is a bit of a drag. Um, but it's just a great basic bike rack. I'm going to link down below uh, to uh, where you can get this one and maybe a couple of the other racks I mentioned that I'm thinking of getting as well. Uh, in the meantime, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and give the video a thumbs up.